Researchers in Hong Kong say that they have discovered movement under the moon's surface that they believe is related to volcanic activity, dispelling the idea that the moon had long cooled beyond the point of magmatism. Wait to hear this. Researchers have described this discovery as hidden magmatism in a paper published to the Astrophysical Journal Letters. In the new paper, researchers describe how remote sensing data and advanced imaging techniques were used to analyse the moon's subsurface near the Chang-6 landing site. By examining variations in the data, scientists could infer the presence of dense material beneath the moon's surface which is consistent with magmatic deposits. The moon, our closest celestial neighbour, and it continues to surprise and intrigue scientists with its complex geological history. These recent discoveries have revealed hidden activity beneath the lunar surface on the far side of the moon. This discovery provides new insights into the moon's formation and its evolution. The far side of the moon is often referred to as the dark side of the moon, and this is due to its perpetual facing away from Earth, and this has been the subject of intense study ever since the landing of China's Chang-4 mission in 2019. Using data from the U-22 rover, researchers have detected signs of hidden magmatism beneath the lunar surface. This discovery was made possible through the use of lunar penetrating radar, also known as LPR, which allowed scientists to visualise the subsurface structures by sending radio waves into the ground and analysing the echoes that bounce back. The U-22 rover, equipped with advanced LPR technology, has been instrumental in mapping the subsurface layers of the moon. The radar data revealed multiple layers of rock and soil extending up to 1,000 feet below the surface. These layers include distinct strata of volcanic rock, indicating a history of volcanic activity that was previously unknown. The detection of these layers suggests that the moon's interior is more dynamic than previously thought. Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain this hidden activity beneath the lunar surface. The first is ancient volcanism. The presence of volcanic rock layers suggests that the moon experienced significant volcanic activity millions of years ago. Another possibility is that large asteroid impacts created fractures in the moon's crust, allowing magma from the mantle to rise and fill the voids. This process could have contributed to the formation of the observed volcanic layers. Although it's thought that the moon lacks the plate tectonics seen on planet Earth, it may still experience tectonic-like activity. The gravitational interactions with Earth could induce stress within the moon's crust, leading to the formation of faults and the movement of magma. The discovery of hidden magmatism on the far side of the moon has significant implications for our understanding of lunar geology. These findings challenge existing models of the moon's geological history, suggesting that its interior is more complex and active than previously believed. This could lead to a revision of theories regarding the moon's formation and evolution. The detection of volcanic rock layers could have implications for future lunar exploration and resource utilisation. These materials could be valuable for constructing habitats and other infrastructure on the moon. Understanding this hidden activity beneath the moon's surface can provide insights into the geological processes of other celestial bodies. By comparing the moon's geology with that of other planets and moons, scientists can gain a better understanding of the solar system's history and evolution. The detection of hidden activity beneath the far side of the moon is a groundbreaking discovery that opens new avenues for lunar science. Through the use of advanced radar technology, researchers have uncovered a dynamic and complex subsurface, challenging our previous understanding of the moon's geological history. As we continue to explore and study our celestial neighbour, these findings will undoubtedly shape the future of lunar exploration 
and our broader understanding of planetary science.